joining us for NBC4 at 6. I'm Sierra Johnson. It's a special night for Buckeye fans across the nation as Ohio State will try to knock off the defending national champions. If the Bucks can earn the win tonight, they'll head to the national championship game January 9th. Let's get right to what's all happening tonight. Sports director Jared Smalley is on the field at Mercedes-Benz Stadium where the Buckeyes are due to arrive any moment now. Jared. Uh, good evening, Sierra. Ohio State arrives in this position after 35 days of frustration, after all the work they put into the Michigan game. When they got the playoff bid still to come to this event, it rang a bit hollow because of all the work that went into beating the Wolverines, and it went terribly sideways. Again, that was five weeks ago. Well, tonight, a chance for redemption on one of the biggest stages in the sport. It was an L, but it, I, I look at it as a lesson. Um, and uh, if you either learn from lessons or you don't, and if you don't learn from it, then I'll count that as a loss. So, I mean, hopefully that we learn from this lesson that we had a month ago and, and um, just uh, try to be better. Everyone's just been really serious as to uh, what we plan on doing. And so the last month of practice, everyone's been going at it full tilt. Uh, and I think that you can really see this on Saturday. With all the focus is just playing uh, you know, the fastest and most violent game we played all season here, um, you know, Saturday night, 8 o'clock. And, um, you know, I just think all the work that we put in this last, last month has got to now show. And our guys are going to play with confidence because we've had a really good month of prep. Well, just moments ago, the Buckeyes arriving here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And look at Ryan Day, the enthusiasm. He was getting after it with the fans getting them to make some noise as the team came in. There's C.J. Stroud on his way in, locked in for the biggest game in his career at this point. Uh, the Buckeyes, they come into this game about a six and a half point favorite. That uh, betting line, by the way, has actually come down a little bit more like the five and a half kind of line. So we'll see if uh, those, the wagering enthusiasts anyway, have this one right. Joined now here on the field at Mercedes-Benz Stadium by our Buckeye analyst, Coach Bill Conley. So let's get into your keys to victory. Okay. Georgia's number one team in a the country. They're undefeated. Right. How do you build the game plan? What's the keys to beat that team? Well, first of all, on offense, we've got to own the third quarter in this game. We didn't do that in the last game against Michigan. Make the adjustments at halftime, come out, put points on the board in the third quarter. Number two, defensively, don't give up the big play. You know, we give up five big plays for touchdowns against that team up north. We can't give those to Georgia Day. And last, we have to embrace the underdog role. We really yeah. do. You know, Ohio State historically, in games like this, has played great when they're underdog. Let's use that underdog and let's make that a key for us today. One key element for Ohio State, Bill, and I'll get, on, get you a thought on this very quickly here. Ohio State only has one turnover force in the past four yeah. games. That cannot happen tonight. They've got to get the football away from the Bulldogs. Exactly right. Now, for the season, we're plus seven. That's pretty good, but right. we've got to make play. And, you know, we do that, we'll get the ball in good field position, and we take and put get points on the board. Well, there's a lot to this game, obviously. We've had a lot of time to talk about it, frankly. One of those elements is defensively what Georgia brings to the, to the table here, and Ohio State's going to have their hands for tonight, specifically with Jalen Carter, their outstanding nose tackle. When we come back here in sports in just a few minutes, Coach and I will break down that specific angle and what Ohio State has to do tonight to make sure he does not wreck the game because he's been known to do that a time or two. Back with more live coverage here from Atlanta in just a few minutes.